Greetings to Shul Community Church and greetings to everyone who is part of this service this wonderful morning. Um, this wonderful day, this wonderful morning. In this day, because by having this service, we are worshipping, we are doing what God has commanded us to do. So it is His will, and we glorify Him. Let us see before Tuesday Bible studies. We are really learning, we are growing. So, may we really um, be part of uh, this services that we are providing to you. Uh, Tuesday Bible study, we are learning from the DCIB. So, may we all be part of Tuesday Bible study and enjoy what God has in store for us. And I believe we're even Sunday services, you are part of uh, Sunday services. So, Mudimala Shirofaje, Mudimala Wodisha Samoyeng, Mudimala Direlen Karoloka, Retrochola Pelega Sevisia Reda, Ejet Lalukono. Before we do that, let me just give the summary of uh, last week. Last week, we we are still learning about the knowability of God. Re to Tilega Maina, I know. I said uh, last week, but I've realized what there are uh, other two names that I left which are more important. Uh, we need to learn about that because um, they are being misused. Uh, actually, there is one that is being misused and uh, others, or the other one, Rekanova, uh, Batubasa, so we are going to uh, to learn about the last uh, two names. So, <clears throat> but yeah, today it will be the last day for for the names of God. And I believe, Hori, you are learning and you you realize how important God's names are because they define who God is. They are giving us the characteristics of God or who God is. They are just telling us uh, and this is how we should know our God. Okay, going back to last Sunday. Last Sunday we spoke about Shalom. Lina la mudimu Shalom, peace, which means peace. Or our God is God of peace that is why he is saving many rena ba ileng gore re tswe jo re sa pholoswa modimo o re pholoswe through jesus christ that's how he brought peace between us and him so through jesus christ through the death of jesus christ uh, and the wrath of God was directed away from us. It was directed to Jesus Christ in order for us to be forgiven. This is uh, who God is. He is a God of peace. And uh, Joshua, we were in Not Joshua, I granted Joshua. So um, in the book of Judges, Gideon. Uh, we when Rab would say when he named God uh, the God of peace, Marawari, God ever rescue from uh, the Midianites. Okay, again, re <coughs> Relenika Yahweh Roi, Roi, which means uh, shepherd. Psalm 23, Mutalo Sarab would say, Worry, God is a shepherd, King is a Sidirang. Uh, because he protects, he provides, he leads. Yeah, so that's what uh, the shepherd does. That's what the shepherd does. Uh, and then again, we learned about Yahweh, God, 
Tsikenu, which means the Lord our righteousness. Jeremiah 23 verse 6. Why is God the Lord our righteousness? I mean, today in Nalwe, now we have the righteousness of God, the righteousness of Christ, because our sins were punished on him and we are covered in the righteousness of God. We are given the righteousness of Jesus Christ. So he is God who is righteous, who is just. So... And then again, we have Yahweh, Shama, God, the Lord is there. Mm. Yeah, Hezekiel, we talusi jagabo uzi. He has always uh, been there to provide whatever he has promised to save us when we need him. He is always there. I remember in the book of Isaiah, uh, when you enter water i will be there with you when you cross rivers i will be uh, i will be there with you when you find yourself in the fire i will be there with you i think uh, shadrach meshach and abednego understand this better they know God, when they were in the fire thrown in the fire god was there with him with them and when they were uh, brought in different trials kamo palacing God was always there with them. So, mudimu khano uchi ya au dume lauta na kaka kaka situation ni zing and then out lugala fela. He is always there with us. Doesn't matter what we go through, our God will always be there for us. He promised He will be with us, and even in the millennial kingdom, God will be there with us. So he is God who keeps his promises. There are people who think when God says, uh, I am, he's going to come and take his church, it's just a story. He is indeed coming because he is God. Whatever he promises, he always fulfills. So this is what we learned about last week. So today we are going to learn about the two names, as we know, what the names of God. So today we are going to learn about the name Tzur, uh, which is the rock. But before, and then number two, Aba or Ab, which means father. So God is the rock and God is our father. God the rock, God the father. So we are going to learn about these two names of God worry. King is so this is Hello Sang. Um okay good without wasting any time let's go to uh let's read the scripture and then we will um go to our sermon let's go let's read into in the book of Exodus Exodus chapter 3, verse 13. Message wari nawa mayina otwa makare Moses. The conversation of Moses and God in the wilderness. Oh, no, no, no. When Moses was um, shepherding the, uh, the flock of his father-in-law, when God visited him, awana Moses ya wana se tlare si sinale mullo and then mudimur moye na ore rola dieta because the place too loyo le moyo na ya halalela and then mudimur to moye a conversation le 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 moye ore I want you to go to is to Egypt go to Pharaoh and rescue my people I have heard dillo chaba na baka kibone sutle ho ya na baka and now I want you to go there and rescue them so and then in verse 13 moses moses asked this beautiful uh this important question then moses said to god if i come to the people of israel and say to them the god of your father has sent me to you and they ask me what is 
his name. What shall I say to them? Very important question. Because Moses didn't give a note to Egypt. And then Rafita Gwa Avita Mudimun Rumil. Never to Mumagala or Rabula Lagama. Which God? Because we have many gods today. Renali Badimwana Baba Nchi, by long or people are worshipping. So if you go to the Israelites, to the Jews, and then worry, Mudimun Rumile, they would want to know where Lina Lahaike Mang, Galabagala worry, Mudimu, when he revealed himself to the Israelites, Ube Aki Revile Legama Ina, Ahai. So they knew who God was. And if you just come and say, Rumile Gumudimu, and you don't even know his name, then you are in trouble. They will stone you to death because you are a false prophet to them. So today, Renalebu Mudimbaba Nchi, who are being worshipped and people are following those things. So that is why if the name of God is not in the Bible, because the Bible simply says, God have spoken. He have spoken. So through this, God, everything is kept, is recorded in here. So if the name is not in here, then it is not our God. So unale maina manche longori abadi mwana ba ba tuba rapelang kibuleje gore unale bu mudi mwa tabasioni unale bu Allah unale bu Buddha unale kakao kakao fapa na jo people are worshiping those things and they sound innocent but they are dangerous very dangerous because if it is not in the Bible it is not the name. Of God. So the names that I taught are the names that God has introduced Himself to His people. So you are to know those names. This is what we worship. This is the God we worship. You will know if it is not in the Bible. You will check or is that name in the Bible? Hare Check if indeed Bible. Coming with the Trinity, you check in the Bible, or is that Trinity in the Bible? Allah, is it in the Bible? Okay. Then, the name that we have here, that God has introduced himself to us, Kalona, get the name, the rock, in the Old Testament, God was given this name or he he's known by this name. Let's go to the book of Deuteronomy uh, chapter 32, verse 4. This name, Deuteronomy 32, verse 4. Verse 4, the rock, his works, I mean, his work is perfect. For all his ways are just, a God of faithfulness and without injustice, righteous and upright is he. So here, Moses, Obelelaka, the holiness of God or uh, this God is the rock because here he is just comparing God with the physical rock and here he's communicating uh, the strength and the perfection of God or, uh, he is God with Inco incomparable uh, strength. He is God who is perfect, who is holy. He is describing who God is. He is a powerful God. 
I mean, Lisuika, 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 Lisuika. Lisuika relo name la orlo khata. Na gana Lisuika le lo 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 la gotabe le ita mokuena. You cannot stop it. The way it is so strong, it is so big, it is so heavy. No one can stop it. Lega ba kabi ba tuvai millioni mo kheli swika le chwe la le rola ba there is no way ba kali tiba litlo ba na mela kama kana alona la abo na la abo la because the strength, the weight, the heaviness of that rock, it is strong. So here God is compared with the rock and here it is just communicating uh, his strength and his perfection. He is a perfect God. He is a just, righteous, mudimu aholoka, mudimu otapakala, faithful without injustice. This is who God is. So lina le no talosa se u mudimu ele nsona. Hore ki mudimu wa mata, mudimu wa holoka, mudimu mu perfect, mudimu uh, so that this name, the rock, explain or describing the character of God, the attributes of God, who God is, what is God like. He is a perfect God. He is almighty God, God of strength. So the name, the rock, Ejwa Kona mo etalosa seo mudimu elensona kiratile in the book of kona mo sale mudi torno mi ubuncha okay let's go to the one ubuncha the strength of God eri indeed they are rock ebo lagama. The unbelievers, Baba was saving the, the, the idol worshippers. Hore, those idols. Okay, listen, their rock is not like our rock. Even our enemies themselves judge this. Hore, but Dingwana Babona, Bumudim Baba and Chuba Tejim Mulafa sing, Bao, Basin Kamu Baibeling, Ere, eh. But you want to go to the house, you can go to the house. Agree? So the Bible is saying, but you want to go to the house, le mudimu arena one true god are even our enemies themselves they know hore warena he is almighty he is one true god and radiran to waidira no one can stop him gare ri shane le motho ga tloke approval ya motho he is self existing ntongwe le ngwa idirang ga tloke motho hore amu fe uh, permission. He does not consult with anyone because he is one true God. He is self-existing. He is all-powerful. He is powerful. You can never fight him. You can try, but you can never win. You will be destroyed. Even this, but you know, about the first leg of Muga, but I never hope can, but I buy a Malimudimu. They can never win because he is the rock. He is so almighty. Utsere mata kamu kailoring ha kumperi lesilo. He is holy. He is just. He is perfect. This is who our God is. So this is the name of God. Ntungo sanjeri le mugeke gore. This name is not only uh, in the Old Testament. Or let me just, just give an example. Lina le maina amudimu ano tawo ya leka mukho. Titi roje mudima didi run towards reina. It's finally in the book of John. Hore 
There is a name that is given to Jesus Christ. The Bible or John name him uh, or uh, the word and it's because of who Jesus Christ is. In the uh, book of John, John described God as the word. In the beginning was the word and the word was with God and the word was God. Who is John talking about Jesus Christ, and this is the name of Jesus Christ. He is named as the Word. That is because he is the Word. We are preaching him. Hebrews chapter 1 verse 1. God has spoken to us today through who? Jesus Christ, who is the Word. He is the Word. We are preaching him. And then you go to uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 5. It will allow uh, we are not preaching our own doctrines, we are preaching Jesus Christ because He is the word, He is what we preach, He is the gospel. We are pre- now, I am preaching Jesus Christ. This Bible that I'm reading, the text that I'm reading. Jesus Christ, he is, his other name is the word because of who he is, what he does. He taught, he taught the gospel. Even when the disciples were preaching, they were preaching him. They were preaching him and him crucified. We are also preaching him and him crucified. That is why he is called the word. He is the scripture. So God, the rock, Leona, it is used in that way where he is the rock because of what he does, the protection he gives to his people, the strength that he has. He is a powerful God, almighty God. No one can stand with God. No one can defeat him. I remember when uh, Joshua uh, led Israel to the promised land when God called Joshua or no man will stand uh, before you no one will fight you and win as long as you do my will why because I will be with you when God is with Joshua no man can defeat Joshua no one, include no man can stand against Israel. No one will face Israel and win as long as God is with them because you are not fighting them but God Himself. And no one can win against God. We know just this is this explains uh, the power that God has. He is a powerful God and the very same title is not only found in the Old Testament because the title the rock is found in many scriptures in the Old Testament even uh, in in the New Testament. Now in the New Testament where we find the rock uh, but in the Old Testament, there are so many, many, many. Or let's read. Or um, let me just explain in the New Testament. Uh, let's go to First Corinthians chapter ten, verse four. Or before I do that, let me go to Isaiah chapter fifty-one. As I said, there are many. Verse one. Listen to, listen to me, you who pursue righteousness, you who seek the Lord. Look to the rock from which you were hewn and to the query from which you were dark. Here, Isaiah is Comforting the people of God. He's driving them 
towards God. But what I want you to show, Gori, here, God is called the rock. So are the rock from which you were hewed. Gori, lisuika le longori, you were cut from, you were shaped because hewn, it simply mean uh, to shape or to cut, or a level lali suiga, lay long or you were hewn from because we know what a nalo and a worry, river bar limbona is because we are put in the rock, we are put in the body of Jesus Christ, we are shaped by Him. He He separated us from the world, He rescued us, He rescued us from the world, and then. Uh, transformed us into his marvelous light. This is how he healed us by saving us, by salvation. And now we live by his will because we are shaped by him. We are given birth by him. We are uh, rescued by God himself. So whatever we do, we are doing the will. We are doing his will. Because he has shaped us. So, in what halosa sona se wore, bow ele roba mudim, ke bay long wore, ba shape ilwe, from this rock. They are cut from this rock. They are part of this rock, which is God. Himself. Okay, let's go to First Corinthians chapter ten, verse one to verse four. Paul o o o talosa the story when they were in the wilderness, and then or more when our um. Okay, let's read it. For I do not want you to be unaware, brothers, that our fathers were all under the cloud and all passed through the sea and all were baptized into Moses in the cloud and in the sea and all ate the same spiritual food and all drank the same spiritual drink from for they drunk from the spiritual rock that followed them and the rock was Christ. Hey, yeah, no, this is great. So in our one chapter, that cloud, yeah, long worry, even the Israelites were following. Even the Jesus Christ, Kabuye, na gore, say, in our one chapter, I mean, here Jesus Christ is called the Rock, and we know what the Rock, uh, God is the one who is called the Rock in this, uh, in the Old Testament. So here, Paul is uh, giving us something. Yeah, long worry. Bow was a dumelon or Jesu Christ taking with him. For Jesu Christ, Ubile Hona, before he can come on earth, he was there with God. Jesus Christ himself is the one who led Israel out of Egypt. He's the one uh, who was leading Egypt in the wilderness. He's the one who provided water to them. He's the one. So, whatever. The cloud, day long, whatever people are looking for, they must Israel. Ever guide in the wilderness. That was Jesus Christ Himself, which means Jesus Christ is God. Ino boni chabao ba kana ngo Jesu ke mudimu. Ya italo samur ke mudimu. Eh, ki ana Jesu Christ wa ban chicheng. Jesu Christ o mufi weling mudimu. So. Jesus Christ, he is called the rock in this um, Okay, enough Eskewilej Gore. This rock it simply uh, describes the strength and the perfection of God. He is powerful and he is perfect. So let's continue to our next. Name Jesus. Now we know what it's Ur, uh, the word Ur, the rock. New and Old Testament, it is another name 
of God. Let's go to uh, Habakkuk chapter 1 verse 12. Are you not from everlasting? Remember when Mudimana um, Habakkuk, the prophecy of what is going to happen to Israel because they are not doing the way uh, the will of God. And then verse 12, Habakkuk Reane, a pleader with God or Mudimu Askadumela Gore. And the Chaldeans Matlaba destroy Judah. So he is saying to God, Are you not from everlasting? Oh Lord, my God, oh Holy One, we shall not, we shall not die. Oh Lord, you have ordained them as a judgment. Oh you, oh and you, oh Rock, have, oh Rock, have established them to reprove. A eh, so here God is called. The rock. So even Habakkuk knew God as the rock. So unobole like I say, the situation that is going to happen to them, Hori, you are allowing them to come and de uh, 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 destroy Judah because you have you are bringing the judgment over us. You are using them to judge uh, to judge us to judge. Uh, Jerusalem. So he is calling God the rock. This is the name of God. And I mean, he is known as the rock. So this is who God is. And then the second name is Father. God is known as Father because he is the Father to the fatherless. So Let's go to, because the father, we know what it, um, the first head or the first uh, in Trinity, the first name, uh, yeah, Trinity, God the Father. We have God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and then God the Father. He is the Father of the begotten son. So he is known as the father of the begotten son, who is Jesus Christ. And then in the whole Bible, Jesus, uh, God is known as the father of Jesus Christ. And not only to Jesus Christ, but also to us. So he is known as the father. And even this name, the goal is just to exp or to describe or to explain the uh, 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 um, the attributes of God. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter thirty-two, verse six. Eri, do you thus repay the Lord, O oh, foolish and unwise people? Is not He your Father who has bought you? Oh my God. He has made you and established you. So listen to what uh, Moses is saying in this uh, book of Deuteronomy. He is saying um, God is our father and God has bought us. First, he has created us. He has established us. Whatever we are, whatever we have is his. And he has given us whatever we have. He has made us whatever we are. We exist because of him. We breathe because of him. He has created us. He owns us because he has created us. And he did not only uh, do that. When we sinned, this is what he did. He bought us. He he is our father. He owns us. We know what he is. He is our father. He owns us. We know what he is. He is our father. He owns us. We know what he is. He is our father. He owns us. We know what he is. He is our father. He owns us. We know what he is. He is our father. He owns us. We know what he is. He is our father. He owns us. We know what he is. He
authority over something. Here God has authority over us because he owns us. He is our father because we, we exist because of him. He protects us and we live according to his will. He is our father. So, it's one of Motswadi wa motswadi ka mogae motswadi ya e famolao ka mogae o men ga ana le bana ka mogae ke yena he provides for bana ba gae and then he protects bana ba gae o fa bana ba gae molao ke bana ba gae ba tsatsa mae ka tsela nya ka mbatsa maka yona o ba bushitse tsela that is the responsibility ya motswadi mo baneng so le modimo ka yona tsela one eo ga bona o na le se re stokang he provides ga bona re toka protection he provides whatever we do we do because God has commanded us to do. Kamu ha ya kere, batwa di ba fa ba na mulao. He ba na ba sa dirika mukho, batwa di ba remba direka ona. They have a right to discipline ba na bao because ke batwa di go di mo ga ba na bao. So le go modimo ka mogwano. Mara the good thing ke gore modimo ka go di mo ga batwa di ba mo le fasing. Le yena ka motswa di wa batswadi ba mo le fasing ene le batswadi ba mo le fasing ge ba godisha bana ba bona ba ba godisha go ya le ka mogo modimo a reng ba ba godisha ka gona ntho mo le ngo ba idirang ba idira go ya le ka eh thato ya modimo ga seng thato ya batswadi ba rena ba mo le fasing batswadi ba mo le fasing ba kwa motswadi wa leng ka godimo wa ile go modimo so he is not just a father eh uh, to bana mara he is a father even to the fathers he is father even to the orphans he is a father even to the widows bao bas namba to mole fasting god is a father to them bao ba sokotjeng ba kwele motlhoko god is a father to them he is a father to those in need modimo ya ka se tsoga o latlile he is mole fasting papa o mole fasting ba ka nna ba o tshabela mara modimo ya ka se tsoga o tshabeti he is always there for you he will always be there to guide you he will always be there to protect you he will always be there to provide for you there are so many people ba ile ngore ba go tshe ba sna bo papa mara ka le ba ka la gore modimo ke papa mo go bona today they have a direction today there are some bodies today they know tsela tsa modimo ba phela ba na le malapa ba na le ka mokatse o ba ditlokang because modimo has provided for them they are still alive because god has protected them he is a father he is a leader he is a protector he is a provider he is a father to the fatherless as the book of psalm chapter 68 verse 5 says gore ke papa wa rena so does it mean ke rata let me just eh uh, because be kena ka ho bala mo ka ena mo modimo a bollang gore jesu a botjan eh his disciples gore they should never address anyone on earth as their father they should never call anyone on earth i think it's matthew chapter 23 verse 9 jesus is telling his disciples worry they have only one father who is in heaven okay verse 9 here 23 verse 9 matthew and call no man your father on earth for you have one father who is in heaven does christ say uh, we shouldn't call our eh uh, biological fathers or uh, our parents eh uh, baba nna mo le fasing o papa re na we shouldn't do that no this is not what uh, jesus christ is saying here jesus christ o be a khala eh the hypocrisy and the pride yeah the pharisees and the scribes because they loved the titles or this title yeah 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 uh, eh ganin chabelana teacher and father banda banyaka batho ba bitse eh 
teacher or papa they like the title ke mo jeswa bolla gore ba rata le ditulo tsa ka mopedi because ba nyaka go bona le ba nyaka attention e ta mo go bona so ba ipitsa ka di title gore ba gone go ba le authority go bao ba neng ba ba shetse morao gore ba gone eh those titles di be di dira gore ba lebelle ga o ka re bona they are above others baba ngwe baba khunamele baba bona jo le ka those who are uh, superior over them and they provided a uh, melao to those people na ba ifa batho ba o melao e le ngore ga itlo go modimo empa ya bona because they thought they had authority over those people so jesus o gala yona ntwa ne uwe gore ga o na motho e le ngore o tshwantse a bitwe papa because we have only one father and what he means ke gore how do we have only one father who is in heaven so in other words eh modimo ke yena wa leng ka go di moga rena ka moka re na we are all his children le batso di barna ba mo le fasing the spiritually ntong le ngwe ye e long gore re rutiwa e tshwantse be ntho e tswang go papa wa kwa le godimong ke papa o mo le fasing a re ruta tsa eh tsa semoya gore o tshwantse a re rute go ya le ka seo papa wa le godimong a reng ke bolla ka malapeng jwale o papa ka malapeng gore ge ba ruta bana ba bona you teach bana ba gao go ya le ka se o papa ko le go dimong a reng o ba rute ge o godisha bana o ba godisha go ya le ka mogo papa wa ko le go dimong a re ba godishe ka gona papa wa ko le go dimong ke yena papa wa ka go dimong ga rena ka moka so le rena papa wa ko le go dimong ba ithuta from ka ba mo le fasting ba tshwantse ba ithute from the father in heaven So le ka magara ga di kreke we are not to call our pastors our fathers ga se bo papa we are not supposed to call them our fathers because we have one father le bona we have one father because ge hore e o thoma o bitse moruti wa ga o papa e ra hore moruti can exercise his authority over you a ka nna dira tse ena di ratang a tla ka dilo tse leng gore ga di sipidishane le ntjula modimo mara ge le gore eh ka o fela re bona modimo es papa muruti wa gao o ruta putheo se o papa wa le godimong a reng a se rute muruti is not supposed to be called a father Jesus o botsa barutwana gore call no man agri muruti ke motho call no man your father on earth ke lo gore baruti ba ba nyaka o bitiwa bo papa then ba rata di title call me he muruti ga re mo wena re mpitse papa ke muruti o ileng gore o tsa afa ba ne ka selo le ba farasei He is doing the same thing that the Pharisees did because they wanted people to call them with these big names. Papa. The prophets, the bishop ka o fela ga tsona maina ba itirelang wana today gore ba gone o ba le authority over batho and then muruti ga nya ka o ba le authority over batho o exercise the authority that is in the scripture. This is the authority you are applying mo di krekeng. Is it our own authority because if you say uh, your pastor is a father eh ke ke papa mo go wena o mmitsa papa he can exercise his authority o mongwe ka nna re yes re a o kwa muruti mara there is somewhere in the book of corinthians where paul says to the church of corinth gore eh ke papa go lena mo simoyeng but what you need to understand ke gore paul is not saying to them they should call him their father no paul is not saying that paul ga re ba mmitse o ba a re ke papa go lena he is simply saying eh i have preached the gospel to you and you were saved oh the responsibility ana go le yona over bona as their pastor gore you have men because o bolla gore lena le eh baruti ba bantshi 
You have many pastors, but you have one father. He preached the gospel to you, and then So he is not saying they should address him as a father. He is the one who gave birth to the church. He preached to the church, and then he is not saying they should address him as their father. They should address him as a father. It is wrong to address uh, anyone, any spiritual person on earth or a spiritual leader on earth as a father. Jesus says Do, we should not address our spiritual leaders as fathers. So, papa, 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 it is against the word of God. Don't ever call anyone on earth, spiritual leader, your father. Paul was not saying they should call him uh, their father. No, he's just telling them, I have responsibility over you. As your parent, as your spiritual parent. He's not saying to them, they should address him as a father. It is wrong. Hey, papa, 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 papa. Hey, my papa, my papa. It is wrong. It is against the word of God. They like it because pride, barata glory, barata uh, who fewer this honor? That is why they will force you to to call uh, to call them Papa Mara. This is not what God is looking for. Jesus Christ Himself said, "Ore, we should not call our spiritual leaders Papa. We have one Father in heaven. Spiritual leaders, whatever they do to, to the church, it should be according to the Father." In heaven, whatever we teach, we don't teach our own doctrine, we don't teach our own authority, but we teach the authority from the Father above. We teach the doctrine from the Father above. Rena, we are just servants. Come, Baruti, we are serving uh, churches. We shouldn't. Uh, uh, behave as if we are nothing. We are servants. Paul only scriptures you know Paul only like a mo eh baruti reling but how much fell low more the fasting reling the lowest because the chancha let me wait eh Paul only chancha baruti let me wait eh worry but how much more God but how much pumula the chila eh kamu fasting ready eh ta more we are of the lowest because but how much more this is who we are. We serve those people. We serve them. We are the servants. Hartogel and pride, even Abba Mudimu. Read the song, Mudimar Bilijem will receive the to serve people. Togel and Mukiti Michele, Chele, 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 Bile le moja ba torba li bije kaka di title hora ta title baruti mo rata di title you can tell gore mudi mo ha gona mo na hengar ke kopa na li muruti abas cham poja no address me ka ke kopa na lo mo mo poja gore ya na ke na ka mutwa mbije mo evangeli ho sa mbije mo evangeli o petro sa mbije ba rata di title. Barata the title because they love to have authority over people. It is wrong. It is wrong. Murutuelo rubi di seke mudi muzanja veli bui koko beicho. Lega o kampija Simon it's okay. That is me. Address me. Kase on nakelinso na. Hello, rika ramoro kampija ramoro ka it's fine. If you want to call me a pastor, it's fine. But I shouldn't go around telling people, Wore, this is my title. Call me, got this title. And don't force people to call you Papa because Jesus said we should never call anyone on earth, Christ spiritual uh, leader. We shouldn't address them as uh, our fathers because we have one Father in heaven. And Father is the title that is given to our God who is in heaven. So he is our Father. He is the one who created us. He is the one who sustained us. He is the one who is in control of everything. From 
now on you know who God is you know how you can know uh, your God you can know him even by his names because there is uh, the responsibility over the attributes of God his character so he is a father to us. He is a father to the fatherless. He is a rock. The strength and the holiness of God, the faithfulness of God. Because